A wise man once said, if anyone says you cannot paint, then by all means paint. The unusually hot month of January takes us to Eldoret in search of a diplomat who has lived a life of courage as a politician with humble beginnings. As a young girl, I, I had the fortune of growing next to a mission station. The missionaries had a definite dedication in building a balanced life for the children, for the girls. The values instilled in her during her childhood shaped her life a great deal. The mentoring saw her through Kesup Missionary School, Kapsabet Girls, Alliance Girls and later Makere University where she graduated with a Bachelor's of Education. Her first posting, Near Girls in Nyanza. <laughs> Not so long after, she tied the note with a high school friend, retired Major John Say, the current chairperson of Kalenjin Council of Elders. My wife a mother of my five children, a wife of over 35 years. She is a dynamic person. She is a, a go-get person. She is focused. And once she determines her direction, she will pursue it right to the end. Injustice came knocking right outside her door when the powers to be allegedly fired her husband from the military soon after she declared her interest to run for the KO South parliamentary seat then held by self-declared total man Nicholas Bewart. I felt that no one was going to undermine my career just simply because my wife has gone into politics. But I was mistaken there because they had other schemes and at the end um, I lost my job. It was a shock to me. I can almost see it today. He was standing out there. He was holding our little baby, our, the last one. And, um, and he was just pacing up and down outside the compound. And it was three o'clock in the afternoon. For 20 years, she proved to be a thorn in the flesh of the self-declared total man, Nicholas Bewart. As an envoy working in South Africa, she was instrumental in bringing together Kenyans working and living there. Thanks to her organizational skills, the same same skills that I've seen I established this complex behind me, the Great Rift Girls Educational Complex. Today, she spends her time in Eldoret weaving a safety net for young girls at this complex. A complex that in many ways is a culmination of her journey and also an insight into her experiences, both as a politician and an envoy. If you follow my life, I think my challenges as a woman has taken me into women education. And so was born this girls' school. She credits her husband and children for keeping her dreams alive. Victor is a, is, a, is a singer, is a musician. I'm happy for him. And I have my daughter, Cherotich, who has worked more in the UN sites. And then I have um, my, my son, who is a pilot, Philemon. And I have a daughter who is an artist, and she's featured a lot in your programs. And I have the last one, who is a doctor. Say, whose political mentor is the late Bishop Muge, feels very strongly about the developments on the political front. I think these are still alignments of people who have ambitions for leadership. And what about the other tribes who are not within the KK? What happens to them? Do they get together also as a coalition? She was awarded the Moran of the Burning Spear MBS in recognition of her loyalty and patriotism and hopes that the Great Rift Educational Complex will receive the necessary support so that more girls can be empowered through quality education. Tom Boyer, Sunday Life.